Good awareness, good play. Lee Feeney. Lee Feeney wants more back to McBride. Got the touch, couldn't control it. And then Tornville wants more. Smith in the run, nips inside onto his left peg, puts it back. An opportunity for Halliday. He makes more. He does. Michael Halliday. The man who always seems to score against the Blues has done it again. They opened up the Linfield defence, and once he was in the clear, lovely, lovely work by Smith. Good finish. That's a tremendous finish. Here we are, Smith again. What well, I said before, his work rate is unbelievable. An unfortunate slip there. But it's a great ball in for Holiday, and he puts it across the goalkeeper. He gets a hand to it, but unfortunately he can't stop it. There's plenty of room for the boy Holiday as well down that uh, right side of Linfield, and he did finish well. Young, deep cross in. Ball well out. McShane in the chase. Nixon wants more. Needs a little flick forward. The Tim McCann. Tim McCann in space. It needs a good cross. It is a good cross. Is there a finish? And an opportunity. It's a goal. Gary Smith, the 32 year old centre back. Well, the right man for the right place and the right finish. 2 0 Glen Torn. Is there a way back for the Blues? Well, it's looking a little bit bleak now for Linfield. That's one thing that they didn't want tonight. It's a second goal so early in the second half. Again, though, there was pressure. A lovely ball in by McCann. The deflection and false sweep. The key to it was the space for McCann. It needed the yeah. good cross. It was a good cross and a good finish to his Yeah, Smith came in and he finished it well with his left leg. Come in the game. And there ben is the th final whistle summit. The CIS Insurance Cup winners tonight are Glenn Torrent. Yeah, they, they, they just about tonight. deserved it. They just about deserved it. They are top of the league. They're full of confidence. Davy sort of on a rebuilding job. And uh, I'm sure David will get it right. Give him time. He'll get him back there. The managers shake hands. The players shake hands. There's been a lot of hard work and endeavour out there. And just two little moments of magic actually separated the sides. Michael Halliday in 25 minutes with the first goal. Then Torn leading 1-0. And then those two chances for Lindsay, which could have brought them back into it. But then finally, 17 and a half minutes into the second half, Gary Smith the man who pushed, pushed the ball to the net to give Glen Torn the two-goal lead. They never looked like losing it, and tonight they'll celebrate. They're the CIS Insurance Cup holders for 2002. We'll be right back in a couple of minutes' time with the presentation, and for some reaction, don't go away. The Cup winners. Linfield got the runner-up medals in the CIS presentation. Jim Semple, the uh, president of the Irish League, gives a runners-up medal to David Jeffrey, the manager of Linfield, who gives a warm round of applause to Glen Torrent and goes across to shake hands with Chris Walker. The game was hard, it was tough, but that's just about sums it up. It was played in the right spirit. And now comes the presentation party. Dennis Gordon of the CIS Insurance, along with Jim Semple, the president of the RHB, gives the winners' medals to Glen Torren, worthy winners this year of the CIS Insurance Cup. Conditions were miserable. It was wet, it was cold, but the football certainly very enjoyable and well worth watching. Sammy McElroy. No doubt about it. You know, the, when you play a final, I've been in one or two myself, and uh, there's no place for the losers. It's uh, it's a horrible feeling, even though it's the League Cup, it's the first final of the season. You still want to win that, and especially the big two, Glen Turner and Linfield. Uh, it's hard to swallow when you lose. But Glen Turner have got a big game on Saturday against Portadown in the league. Ronnie McFall, uh, I seen him here tonight, so he'll have to take a few notes, and uh, we'll see how we go with that one. Michael O'Neill there just collecting his medal and just a few moments ago earlier was it Elliot Morris the Glen Torrent keeper and that was his first medal in Irish League football and certainly the keeper deserved it and now comes the big moment the medals and not yet another medal for Roy Coyle he'll enjoy that moment and now will come the presentation of the cup to the captain Chris Walker he gets the medals gets the handshakes he lifts the trophy and he'll salute the crowd and they will salute him back. And the banner in the background said, Ben Torn simply the best. And tonight, yes, they were the best. Roy, congratulations. You must be thrilled tonight. I'm absolutely delighted. They won the first final. 
uh, always difficult games and the two of us play but uh, the behaviour of both teams tonight I thought was impeccable and uh, hopefully the people have turned up which is a large crowd enjoyed the game. Michael Halliday and Gary Smith congratulations Michael first of all how did it feel to get that first goal? It was great it was uh, it, it settled the team down it came at a nice time uh, great work Brandy Smith and lucky enough just sli slipped by the keeper. And Gary a cracker for you in the second half how did that feel? Oh, it was great. Usually it's on the head, you know, but uh, I managed to get the ball just before, or just as it bounced, and I was lucky enough to get the, the foot behind it, and I went. Linfield, however, were a big competition tonight. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we came out at the start of the second half knowing that they would throw everything at us, and in fairness, the keepers made a couple of great saves. And then uh, the defence, after the first five minutes, were solid by Gary, man of match, well deserved, and um, kept us in the game, you know. Yeah, Gary, man of the match. How pleased are you with that? I'm delighted, you know, personal. Uh, accolades and stuff but it's a team game especially a night like that you know everybody dug in because the Blues put us under a lot of pressure first 10 minutes of the second half and everybody dug in and we managed to get ourselves out of it and sneak a second. Chris as captain of Glen Torrance tonight you must be a happy boy. Oh definitely I mean it's the first cup final of the season and we knew whenever we came in it wasn't going to be a, an easy game but we plugged on through and big Gary Smith at the back as I said earlier was fantastic so he was and came away with a trophy at the end of this, the match you know. You had a superb game yourself however. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter who, who has a better game as long as we win in the end, and thankfully tonight we did that. Well, at the start of the programme, we wondered who would be getting in the party spirit, and tonight it's the boys from East Belfast who are celebrating with an early Christmas present. That's it for the moment. Thanks for joining us from a wet Windsor Park. It's good night. And the run dips inside onto his left leg, puts it back. An opportunity for Halliday, he must score. He does. Michael Halliday. Well, the right man for the right place and the right finish.